welcome back to actually my first voiceover video and also my first video in the jewellery box making series. I'm not sure how many videos I'm going to make in this series but I know it's a very complex project, it's going to be the most difficult thing I've ever made so there'll probably be a lot of parts but in part one I'll be making the mould for the left, right and lid of the jewellery box. The way I'm making my mould is using the flush cut bit method. Some people glue lots of pieces of wood together then cut out the shape they want the mould to be on the bandsaw but that's not the best way because you're relying on the depth of cut you have on the size of mould you make and also it's not very accurate because you might get some blade drift. With a flush cut bit you can make your mould any size you want and uh, it's more accurate because you're copying the layer before every single time. I made a very simple jig here, I just marked out a rectangle on the workbench and using a large compass to mark out the radius I want on each piece of MDF. Now I'm rough cutting it so it's easier so I don't have too much material to move with the flush cut bit later. Now I'm just screwing the layers together because I don't have time for each layer to glue. Also screws is strong enough and uh, it will last a long time. Obviously you have to count sync all the screws because each layer has to be very tight together. All I'm doing here is masking taping the bottom of the mould and that gives enough grip that the mould won't fly off when I'm routing the top away. And after a long time, you should have this. I've got a few more layers to add now and then we're nearly done. This actually took a very long time. And I'm screwing screws in random positions every single time so when I screw new screws in I'm not hitting ones underneath. And there we go, that's the mould. I'm giving it a light sanding now, obviously wearing a dust mask because MDF sawdust is not the best. And this is the walnut veneer, very nice black American walnut. I'm marking out where I'm going to cut it and I'm cutting it oversized because once I glue it onto the mould it might not be square on the mould so I need to have a lot of uh, spare material so then I can get the exact shape I want once it's been bent. And each side of the box has 36 layers of veneer. So gluing these layers together was a lot of work. You don't want the glue between each layer to be too thick because then you'll get this uh, bubbly effect. You want each layer to be very tight. So we had to work very fast because by the time I got to the 36th layer, I didn't want the glue on the first layer to be dry already. So now I'm going to put it in the vacuum press. I'm using the brand bag press, which is very good. And we left it in this bag for 48 hours because we wanted to make sure it, everything was dry. And while the glue dries, I forgot to mention in my last video, I got a sticker from Shades Workshop. So check out his channel and link will be in the description below. And when I took this out of the mould, I needed to trace around it because the bent piece of walnut wasn't perfectly square on the mould. So once I cut out the shape I want from it, I need to know where it was on the mould so I can mark it out square. And there we go, that is the first side of the box complete. If you didn't know how to bend laminate wood together, hope you learned something in this video. Try out the flush cut bit method because it's more accurate than using a bandsaw 
And yeah, thank you for watching. I will see you in part two. Thank you.